Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech, and for this video, I want to show you how to install a custom recovery on the Moto X. This is the Verizon Developer Edition, and you'll just have to find the right recovery for your specific de device. So just make sure that you know what files you are flashing so you don't mess nothing up. With that said, let's get on into it. And from what I've heard, Phil's Touch recovery has been pretty cool. I haven't ever used Phil's Touch. I've used the Clockwork Mod and Twerp. So I like Clockwork Mod a little bit more than Twerp, just a personal preference. So Phil's Touch, let's give it a go. Some of the first things that you're gonna to wanna to do is first of all, make sure that developer options are turned on. So let's go to our settings. Scroll down, about phone, tap the build number until it says you're a developer, hit back, developer options, make sure it's toggled on, and USB debugging. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our device, and this will install drivers if needed. And again, you're going to have to give permission, hit always allow from this computer, and hit OK. From this point, make sure you're connected, open up your command window, and type in ADB, I'm sorry, yeah, ADB reboot bootloader, if I can talk right. ADB reboot bootloader. That gets you booted back into the bootloader screen. And that's how we're going to send commands to the device. One thing you want to do real quick is to test the fast boot, make sure it's working. So all you have to do is hit fast boot devices, hit enter. And it's all working just fine. So what we're going to want to do is to go ahead and download, if you haven't already, the Phil's Touch Recovery, and it's going to be the image. This is going to be where you're going to find your respective device. And I am the XD T60. So we'll click that. The XD T60 is for my device. And it looks like we've got some updates here, so we'll get the latest one which is going to be the 31st of January. Click that. And don't ever get fooled by these. These are ads, so make sure that you download the right thing. And you're just going to have to wait for the download to start working. <clears throat> so once it's finished downloading, just go ahead and open it up. And I have a folder where I'm running my commands from, and I'm going to get that extracted file and then paste it on over into here. So from here, just from the downloads folder, I'm going to copy it, go over to my Moto X folder where I'm running everything, paste it. So after you get done with pasting it over into whatever command window that you're going to be using from, uh, you're going to want to make sure that you extract it and then you're going to get from what this says recovery image copy that that way you get the right name come over here you're going to type in fastboot flash recovery and then you're going to paste in that name just make sure it has the img at the end of it so next all i got to do is hit enter and let me get my phone over here so we can see any kind of phone action so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And that's it. The flash worked and it's done. So at this point, we can actually unplug our device and do not reboot into the normal part yet. You're going to want to boot into the recovery. So use your volume down to scroll and then volume up to select.
And here is the custom recovery. So that is how you install the custom recovery for Phil's Touch. And this actually, this process pretty much works uh, for almost any recovery. So if you want Twerp or another one, just do the same step. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you guys taking the time to take a look. And if you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give a thumbs up. And it, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.